Hi, welcome to Serena and Nicole Vlog! Today, we are going to discuss one of the interesting topics in Earth Science, which is classification of rocks. So, are you ready, Nicole? Yes, I'm 100% ready! Let's, Let's start our Anything, anything About Earth, Earth Science episode! Rocks in geology are naturally occurring and coherent aggregate of one or more minerals. Such aggregates constitute the basic unit of which the solid earth is composed and typically form recognizable and mappable volumes. As mentioned earlier, Rocks are made of minerals. A mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic solid with a definite chemical composition and a crystalline structure formed by geological processes. Why? A rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals, whereas a rock may also include organic remains and mineraloids. Rocks are commonly divided into three classifications according to the processes that resulted in their formation. These classifications are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Their constituent minerals are crystallized from molten material, igneous rocks are formed at high temperatures. They originate from process within the earth typically at depths of about 50 to 200 kilometers in the mid to lower crust or in the upper mantle. Igneous rocks are divided into two categories, intrusive and Intrusive igneous rocks are formed when molten rock beneath Earth's surface, that is magma, change to a solid form. It is also called as plutonic rock. While extrusive igneous rocks are formed when molten rock, that is lava, solidifies at Earth's surface, it is also called as volcanic rock. Examples of igneous rocks are Granite Scoria Obsidian and Pamis. Sedimentary rocks are formed when sediments, which is a loose accumulation of unconsolidated fragments, compacted and cemented together at the Earth's surface. After the fragments accumulate, often in horizontal layer, pressure forms the addition of more material above compacts of sediments expelling water, and reducing pore space. Cementation occurs when silica calcium carbonate or iron oxide band the fragments. Together, the process of compaction and cementation transform or liquefy sediments into solid, coherent, Plastic sedimentary rocks are formed from broken fragments of pre-existing rocks, shell, or bones. Organic sedimentary rocks are formed from the remains of organisms, both plants and animals. Chemical precipitate sedimentary rocks are formed when the amounts of dissolved minerals in ocean or lake water reach saturation. They begin to precipitate and build up a deposit on the sea or lake bottom. Examples of sedimentary rocks are Sandstone Limestone Shale Conglomerate And Gypsum Metamorphic rocks are 
rocks are formed from changes in pre-existing rocks under the influence of high temperature, pressure, and chemically active solutions. Compared with the original rocks, the resulting metamorphic rocks are typically harder and more compact, have a reoriented crystalline structure, and have more resistance to weathering. Foliated metamorphic rocks are those with flat surfaces or wavy alignment of light and dark minerals that are formed during metamorphism, while non-foliated metamorphic rocks are those without flat surfaces. Examples of metamorphic rocks are marble, quartzite, slate, and gneiss. That's all the information about the classifications of rocks. We hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching, guys!